I'm Dee Lee Beard, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to add additional system sounds to your Mac. All right? And once you go into your system preferences, and you go over here to sound, you'll see there's a list of sounds for sound effects. Like you can choose the alert volume and what you want the sound to be, and there's per submarine, there's some others, whole batch of them in here. Well, you notice I've added an interesting one right here. In fact, I just beamed in. Okay. <laughs> you can add additional sounds like this so that you can have your system alerts to do this sort of thing uh, with different things. And that affects other programs like your email program, iChat, things like that. Well, how do you do it? Well, let me show you where they're hidden. If you go into your main hard drive and you go into your system folder, you go into library. <laughs> it's the only thing in there. Not too hard to figure out, is it? Okay, then you find your sounds folder in that library. And here you see all those sounds. Baso, blow, glass, all this stuff. And there's that TOS transporter that I did. But it has to be an AIF file format, or AIFF, two Fs, it's just another name for the same format. So, it has to be in that format, and if you get it in that format, you can add anything into this folder. So if you recorded something in GarageBand, you export it as an AIF format, and you should be all set. If you've got a sound that you already like, but it's not in the format you want, you can convert it in iTunes. Let me show you an example. One of the fun things, like where I got that TOS transporter sound, if you go onto the web and you just do a search for Star Trek sounds, <coughs> excuse me, if you do a search for Star Trek sounds, and you just click right there, like on that first one, and there's a whole bunch of them here from, you know, the uh, Next Generation or Star Trek Voyager or the original series. I'm a big original series fan. I'm going to click on that. And there's a bunch of them. Like there's that transporter sound that I found. Or it's boxing, checkmate, or illogical, or ISER. Like, you know, if you give it a command. Now, the way you can download these files, these WAV files, is you hold down the Option key and you can click on it, uh, Option key on your keyboard, and then you just click on it and it automatically downloads it. And I don't know if you noticed over here, but in my downloads folder, it should show up. I'm going to say open in Finder. And there it is. And you can see it's a .wav, a WAV format, Windows audio uh, format. So you can convert it. And all you have to do is double click on it. ISAF. Automatically launching it in iTunes. I'll play that again for you. ISAF. ISER. <laughs> I can't quite get the accent right though, but he was able to. And if you want to convert it, normally you go under advanced and you can say, uh, you click on it. And you go advanced and create. Now, in this case, it's an AAC version, but you can change it and tell it you want it to create a different format. And you do that under the iTunes preferences and you, under the general tab. You come down here to import settings. And right now it's set to AAC encoder, which is kind of that common one that iTunes likes. Makes files small, but really good quality. But for systems, they got to be that AIF. And there it is, AIFF encoder. Select that and just click OK. OK. And now, when I go into advanced, now it shows me create AIFF version. So, I do that. Boop, there we go. We got a new version. And then all I have to do is right click on this one, this new one, and say reveal in Finder. There it is, show in Finder. That didn't quite take. Let me do that again. Reveal and Finder. There we go. And it's right there. There's the AIF one. That's the .wav one. And then all I have to do is add it to this folder. So I add this into here. Say authenticate because it is a system setting. So you have to be an admin user in order to do this. And then when I close out of that, close out of that, close out of that, and quit out of iTunes as well, and I can even quit out of my Safari browser. And now when I go to my system search, uh, system dab dab sounds, if I can speak, uh, let me close that. I might have to relaunch system preferences for it to show up. System preferences, go to sounds, relaunch it, and we should see the ISER in there. There it is. TOS Scotty ISER. 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 <laughs> and now you can choose that and that'll be your automatic system beep. So if it beeps at you, that's the sound it's going to play. It's going to play ISER. Now you may want to keep the standard, you know, 
submarine and that's fine for your system alert. However, by having them in that system setting, you can use those sounds in programs like Entourage for your email or the mail program or even in uh, iChat. Yeah. If you go to iChat preferences, that's where you can do things like your alerts. You can change what it does. So when I log in, play a sound and the sound it's going to play is signed in. That's the sound that iChat likes. However, it can also drag a sound out of your other system. So I go, how about I, sir? I, sir. Or because I'm logging in, I might want to do the transporter sound. And whenever I get a message received or a buddy becomes available, then I can choose the ICER or whatever sound you want. You can create your own in GarageBand, little sound loops if you want, anything you want to do. This is another way yet that you can customize your Mac and have a little bit of fun. Um, I love doing that because I get kind of tired of those same sounds on iChat and you can customize it and make it whatever sound that you want. Okay? Hopefully you have a little fun with this. Remember, the computers can be great toys. Play with them, experiment, and if you have questions, send me a question at questions at askthetechies.com. Thanks for watching.